Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge-of-your-seat virtual reality experience? We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades, and while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha ha ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that you've been fed over the last several years into a hilarious VR game, in the hopes that we can finally move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you, as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays, so sit back and enjoy a few scares. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. It's mostly just legal mumbo-jumbo and isn't at all based on user experiences thus far or injuries associated with testing. Just touch the button to agree and then we can jump right into some harmless fun that can't harm you at all in any harmful way. Thank you for playing the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Ex- You acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transference, real-world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Use the console in front of you to navigate the menu and pick one of the frightening experiences available. By completing these scenarios, more will become available. You'll see plenty of familiar faces and some new ones as well. So stay a while and have a good time. And remember, despite the temporary horror you may experience, this is a completely controlled environment and you aren't in any real danger. Fazbear Entertainment not responsible for real danger. Please make a selection from the virtual menu. Just be aware, they 
characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with crossbeams, wired, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine that having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop out the front of the mask. Here. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first station the agrees. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Along this time, since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses, uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though, so hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera views, and those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something, or someone, on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain at Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active than the camera to remain off for a long period of time. Yeah, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. But anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon!
Yeah, I, I, I always wondered what was in all those empty heads back there.